Welcome back to Australian Bananas fighting back after Yassi. And here we are, the Australian Banana Packing Championships at the Innisfail Show. Well, today I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Graham Chaladoni. Graham Dyer. What's all sure the excitement about, Graham? Why are we here? Mate, we're here for one particular reason, the Australian Banana Packing Championships, which is a big thing at the Innisfail Show every year. But just before I get on to that one, on behalf of the industry, Steve, I want to pay you a tribute for everything that you've done in the industry and for downloading this video. And in all honesty, mate, I reckon you should leave the banana growing up for me. And someone like yourself, you've got another calling in life, buddy, I'm telling you. You should be out there doing a travel show or a sports show. But anyway, getting back to what we're talking about. Thank you. The Australian Banana Packing Championships, mate, it is a big thing here at Innisfail. It's something that we've had running for 11 years, and we've got a great committee behind us, and we've put a lot of effort into it every year. Very good. Well, to run an event like this after the year that we've had, Graham, obviously the source of bananas has been a struggle. It has been a struggle. When I say a struggle, we obviously couldn't get it from the coastal area here, Stephen. The Innisfail Tully area, where 80% of the bananas are grown, you know, we, we, we were 95% wiped out. Uh, within a month or so after Yasi, we really, you know, the, the, the committee got our heads together, you know, wondering how we were going to approach this. Just remembering that back five years ago after Larry, we never had a banana packing competition because we had the same sort of scenario. This year we'll be determined to, to, to have it running and just show that the industry was back up and running and getting back close to its, you know, we're on a progression back forward, we're heading in the right direction. We approached a gentleman by the name of Dennis Howe from Mariba up on the other end Tablelands, roughly 130 kilometres away from here. The farms up there weren't affected by Yasi. We were able to get, once we approached them, they said yes, they would allow us to, you know, the fruit to have this packing championships, and it's been plain sailing ever since. That's a great result. Graham, you personally, as a banana farmer in the area, in the Yassi affected area, how's it affected you? How, how do you see the industry progressing? Let's look, the cold weather has slowed us down, Stephen. Obviously, after Yassi, we really, you know, we couldn't predict. We didn't have a crystal ball of what sort of a winter we'd get. We've got a particularly cold winter. It has slowed things down, you know, on, on previous years. It is, but it is, you know, we're all starting to get bags up. You know, a few of us are starting to pick, you know, a little bit of fruit. You know, we can see it on the market at the moment. It's a smaller fruit. It's a shorter fruit. It's still a cabinet, still fantastic. And personally, my own view is that all the mums and dads with little kids going back to school, they should be throwing one of these in their lunchbox, mate. Fantastic size for lunchbox. Banana. Well, no worries. Well, Aussie banana fans, that is great news. I'd like to thank you. No actually, I want to make a special note. This is actually the Guinness World Book record holder in breaking bananas. So, well done to Graham Chaladoni. Thank you very much, and see you all in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Dave.